Welcome to Squad Says, I am Ted's Friends. And I am the Mike Robles, and this is Squad Says Guess. An interactive trivia show where you, the audience, make all of the decisions. Your job will be to help out your chef by answering questions, and for every question that you get right, you will earn points for your squad, as well as earn resources for your chef to start with in our cooking show, Squad Says Served. So, if you haven't already, make sure that you've logged out on Twitch and that you've joined the squad. As a reminder, voting will only work if you're on a PC or a Mac, and you won't be able to vote if you're on mobile or a tablet. All right. Uh, okay, everyone ready? Let's meet our judges, Stephanie and Kells. Come on up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Sure. Oh. What is <laughs> happening? I don't know. It's it felt, like, there. It, felt, it felt so quiet and empty. I needed to add like Fair. some audience. They to can't do. hear the music that plays in my head, so <laughs> they they sit there and they come on out. Uh, no, Wait, you were just creating a flare. Plays in your head? Yeah, oh. it's it's the Spotify station in my head. <laughs> they call it Spotify in my head. It's their new premium premium it's plus premium service. service. Uh, so here's what's going to happen, folks. We're going to introduce these, these judges here, and they're going to talk to you about who they are. And you're going to answer questions, true or false questions, about each judge. Try to get to know them a little bit better here. You've got the prize list. What's up What's Oh, up I this do round? have the prize list. Oh, I'm Let's sorry. Let's see so, what's, what's in tune for round one what's here. What's up for round one here <clears throat> is uh, in served. Or in round one, you will get a, you get to go first in served, and you get the mini maker. Your favorite piece there, Kels, the mini maker. Yeah. I don't know why that one's up for a prize in the first <laughs> round. That's more of a sabotage than a prize. Mini but... maker's perfect. I, mini maker is my best friend. You don't get to use it. your though. best Wait. friend. He's my best friend. You're a judge today. You don't get to use it. I, maybe I'll put it next. Okay, perfect. All right, after we're done using it, we'll just yeah. keep Mini Maker there. All I know is if one day when we're taking inventory, if that Mini Maker disappears, we know exactly who to point fingers at. All right, so for the folks at home who may not know who you are, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell them uh, who you are, what you do, where they can find you on the internet. I'm Kels. Uh, my ad is at PKKOS. Um, I'm a game developer and I own my own studio, Cat Bean Games, and we're making our first game, Calico, and it's a game about magical girls and cat cafes. Sounds wonderful. It really does. <laughs> Stephanie? Uh, I am Stephanie Martin. I am Azra Lauren on pretty much anywhere you could have social media stuff. Uh, and I am uh, I work at Trader Joe's, actually. I am a sign artist there. I never oh. I realized I never actually mentioned that last time when I was cooking. Because <laughs> I was cool. so freaking nervous. No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I do like all the signage and stuff there. Uh, and then I'm also kind of arting on the side at home. You and know. you're a magical girl. And I'm magical, which, yeah. So you're Azure Lauren everywhere, but you also have an Instagram specifically for your art, I correct? do. It's What's Azure that? Lauren underscore art. That's right. And you can see. And you've posted Thank some you. of your Trader Joe's stuff Yes, on there, I do. You? Yeah. I post my Trader Joe's signs because. It's really cool. She's shown me some of her Trader Joe's signage, and it's really cool. That's a kind of a neat gig to be able to just be like, how did you come into that gig? Uh, I shopped at Trader Joe's and I realized <laughs> that I needed, uh, so I had been doing an Etsy shop uh, for a very long time and it kind of started to die down and I got tired of it and I was like, I need a job. I like shopping at Trader Joe's. I'm going to go apply there. And so then I went in on a, a Thursday, got my uh, thing, filled it out, gave it to them Friday. I was immediately asked for an interview right then and there. <laughs> and then she, my, my then boss interviews me says she'll get back to me by Monday, and then later that afternoon tells me I'm hired, and then I start on Monday. <laughs> wow. And while we're waiting for uh, voting to get going, we also have a story here. Kels is dealing with fennel toothpaste? Yeah, yeah. I told her, wait, before the show started, she goes, my husband bought fennel toothpaste, so I'm dealing with that now. And I'm like, save it. Yeah. Save it for the show. We need to know. All my right. husband bought fennel toothpaste, and I'm dealing with that now. So, so I didn't know. I didn't know because I, I, I had to come here, and before that I brushed my teeth, and I was like, this tastes weird, and I looked at the package, it's like, fennel. I'm like, why, why would you flavor something fennel? It's not pleasant. It's not better than mint. So it's that's not better. better. There we go. As we've learned today, as we, as we learn on every single squad says, because we're also about learning, fennel is not greater than mint. Now, well, who I doesn't like want fennel. their toothpaste to taste like Italian sausage? <laughs> like, come on. I love fennel. Like, one of my favorite salads is, like, apple and fennel and kale. But not a toothpaste. Oh, not a toothpaste. Not a toothpaste. All right. Well, judging has happened. We've got our first result right We there. do. So, Green Squad, that is the rules there. Green Squad has voted false on this one. Stephanie's preferred work week would be six six-hour days over three 12-hour days. Green Squad voted false. Is that true or false? Uh, wait. I would prefer I the six-hour? Oh, yeah. No, it's false. Sorry. I... <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, go. it's a lot of words, and he talks fast. <laughs> so here's no. the thing: is Ted hasn't had coffee in a month, and he had a chai with a shot of espresso today. So Ted's kind of on. Oh, no. uh, all right, feel today. good. Oh, you're God. talking. You're going a little fast. Ted. I took a baby aspirin before this as well, <laughs> just to, just for my blood pressure. We're good, baby. Kel's confirmed fennel breath. Yeah, they haven't smelled yeah. her breath, but so okay. So yeah. you, I've been you, drinking tea. So I I would much rather work three days of twelve hours than have to be at a grocery store every <laughs> single day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> it got really dark. I, I understand that. I, I used to work a job uh, down in Southern California, and I got the option to do five days a week or four tens, and I was like, I will take four, four tens. tens. Yeah. Four tens. Absolutely. Way to go. When I was at Xbox, they didn't, or my department didn't want us to have four tens because they didn't want to remake the schedule. So what I did was <laughs> I talked to every single person in our department, and I made a schedule that everybody liked, and I gave it to the boss, and I was like, you don't have to do any work. Here nice. it is. Look at you that. Got you got four tens. All right. Uh, as Learn says, hey guys, hey. Hi. Uh, they want to true on this, Stephanie. Your favorite amusement park food, your favorite amusement park food is a corn dog. Is it true or false? False. It's false. We got that one incorrect. What's your favorite amusement park food? Funnel cake, right? <laughs> uh, funnel actually, cake? Fun <laughs> funnel cake and cotton candy are tied in the point where I could not actually <laughs> date which one was right. Me it still makes that one but false. Funnel cake. It, it, it does. False. No, it's still false because corn dog's not up there. No. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, that's top five amusement park foods. Number one, funnel cake, cotton funnel, candy. Funnel cake and cotton candy. Number two. Uh, fries slash, if I can find them, the tornado spiral cut french fries. They're on the stick Ooh. and they fry them. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Those Number three. so good. Uh, uh, the corn on the cob. Ooh, yeah. okay, yeah. Number the, four. It's oh, mini dots. <laughs> nah. What? I mean, candy so apples, candied apples, no. caramel apples. No, 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 no. None of those. Those are my favorite. I don't know. Like, you once you get know. underneath that, I'm like, well, so, I guess that's I'll it. Top three. Top three matters. That's it. Corn dog can make top three. We also want to say there, folks, if you are just watching us for the first time or you haven't joined a squad yet, click on the screen there. It'll uh, you'll be prompted to actually join one of our squads, and then you can join in the vote on true or false questions on these two judges here. So. My squad has voted true on this one. Kells thinks a 10-year-old's allowance should be linked to doing chores. Is that true or false? No. No? I false. Never, I never did. I guess, I mean, it really depends on what you're doing. That's a really complicated <clears throat> question. My children will be getting an allowance for taking out the garbage. They gotta learn the value of money and hard work. <laughs> hard work early. I feel Capitalism. like it's more like, I guess, I guess so, because you should have a reward-based you can't change base. your answer now. She's Learn. not. She's not. They didn't give her the point. But all right. All right. All right. Kels, <laughs> Kels, speaking of really interesting questions here, if cooking in a death match, so you in two years from now, okay. there's a death match where you have. Do I you're, die? You're gonna cook. If you lose, yes. Okay. Um, they voted false on this. Uh, you would prepare for this death match through education over work experience. To true or false. I guess work experience. All right, so okay, so that is false. So that is correct. The, well, the squad got that one right. It's really <laughs> weird the way this is worded. Tell me about this. Let's. In Questions two years, are always weird. Oh, or in two years, the world is fucked. Where it's now, everyone comes to a death world. match. What? It's a death match. You have to. What is your plan? Your the work reason, experience. The reason you I die say that. if you lose. Jesus. Wow. This is what happens. This is intense. How do you? How do you prepare? I guess the reason I say that is because I like I feel like most of my anecdotes are from work. <clears throat> like most of my anecdotes are like, oh, when yeah, I was at, and I've had a lot of weird stuff. jobs, especially in community management, as you would know. Yeah. It's short jobs, and they let you go like for like rando reasons. So you have a lot of them, and you get a lot of experience at different things, doing different things, because community management is a lot of different things. And uh, yeah, I feel like I've just learned so much. From the jobs that I've worked. All right, well, there you go. Uh, real fast in the chat, Squad says, and Amanda's talking about uh, amusement park foods, deep fried Twinkies and elephant ears. Both Ooh. great foods. Elephant. I also had a production talk in my ear there, and they cut out, so I actually couldn't oh, hear what was uh, going on. They were on saying there. that if you think the point for the, uh, the, the chores one, if you should have that point. No, but no, it's fine. No, it's no, fine. She said no. Ty, yeah, yeah, she said she said no. So I didn't do chores for a while. All right. Or, yes. Thanks. So here we go. Uh, Stephanie, our. Uh, Green Squad has voted true on this one. Stephanie's favorite event in the Winter Olympics is curling. Is that true or false? Uh, false. It's ice Whoa. skating, right? Uh, figure skating, ice skating, yeah. Figure skating? No, it's, you know, I got actually, her pegged. I got this down. I have to say, though, curling is up there, too, because I find it very I soothing. Curling is amazing, it's, but you're all about the Yuri on Ice trick. Right? I mean, come God, on. Yuri on Ice is amazing. That is I, a great anime. Thank you. Right? It's so good. 
Guys, if you haven't, look it up. Yuri on Ice. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Trust me on this. Uh, somebody's got a Scottish friend of the curling team in Scotland. Aww. That's neat. Uh, speaking of Stephanie and curling and ice skating and all this good stuff, if you had to go to San Francisco, you would bike before you hitchhiked. Squat that has true. nothing to do with ice skating. It, it, she, she could ice skate no, her way down I, there. They said true. Would you bike before you hitchhiked? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a point there. Uh, uh, yeah, you would. Why? Are you hitchhiking I, scary? I do not want to ever hitchhike in my entire you life. You don't want to no. go through the Thank shady you. areas of, of no. Oregon no. or Northern California? Where no. it's, <laughs> we almost... <laughs> Chevy gets into this rather, off screen. Chevy Aaron almost spit out his water when I said that. I would rather it take me five to uh, months to a year for me to get to San Francisco <laughs> while biking than have to hitchhike. There hmm. we go. All right. All right. Uh, so Green Squad has voted true on this one. Kels thinks Ryu and Ken are too similar. <laughs> like true or false? False. 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 <laughs> wow. Uh, Kels is just making up answers here to go against uh, Green Squad. <laughs> We're too similar? Yeah. Ryu and Ken, they have the exact same fighting style. They do not have the exact same they fighting style. They do. No, they do not. We have Ken's, Mr. Mr. Ken, fighting game here Ken's himself. Ken's kicks are way more powerful than Ryu. Ryu's dragon punches are more powerful. The fireballs are different. They do different damage. Trust me on this. You know why? I know it. You know why they're too similar? Because Ken is a shadow fighter of Ryu in the new Smash Brothers. Oh. So there we go. See? That's still my opinion, but you have proven my opinion wrong. <laughs> Fine. Are we? Are we? My, no, we're. No, we're, we're still, still on. We're still on me ranting about. Okay, I'm just yeah, making sure because yeah. sometimes we we started to just lose control already. All right. Uh, speaking of Street Fighter knowledge here, Kels, you would rather they voted true on this. You would rather play as E Honda over Chun Li. No, I'd play Chun Li. You play Chun Li. I got that one wrong. Yeah. Why? She's adorable. They're the same though. <laughs> <laughs> They both do, they both both do this. One, one does it with their foot, the other one does it with their, with their hand. They do, though. That's yeah. true. I love the co cosplay, Chun Li cosplays. They're like. This okay. isn't who you'd rather cosplay, this is who you would rather just. No, I pick things based on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds accurate. So, how are you going to handle Smash Ultimate when there's like 175 I, characters? I always 73. Think. Please. Oh, I'm sorry, 173 characters. I always choose Pikachu. Always choose Pikachu. I always choose Pikachu. Is that who you're meaning? Yeah, I'm main Pikachu. Steph, Steph who, who are you meaning? In the Smash Ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yeah. I just don't play. I don't you know. Just don't play. I, no, I guess. I mean, I used when I when I used to play, I would play Link, specifically Young Link. So I suppose probably yeah, that. Good. But yeah, I, I'm not good at you it. You have 173 characters to choose from, so. Who so are you I'm gonna be Link. No I'm not. You're not gonna play? I'm gonna, I told you who I'm gonna main. I'm gonna main uh, Tira in Soul Calibur 6, because that's what I play. So I'm gonna be maining Ice Climbers, because they're the best. Uh, that's fake intense. gamer boy over here. That, I guess that's like, that's a lifelong one. You have to have played that for your entire life to know how to use Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers? Oh, they're great. Yeah. They're wonderful. Okay, so, uh, Stephanie, our uh, green squad has voted true on this one. Stephanie's ideal cupcake would have sprinkles on top. Is that true? No. No. Wow. No. You were anti. That was very decisive. Yes. It was ah. just like that. True. No. I. Like, I what? am anti sprinkle on cupcakes. Why? I. Because... Called Jimmy's, by the way. <laughs> Rainbow. That's true. Rainbow Jimmy's. Uh, I just don't. I don't like the texture or taste of sprinkles. Yeah. And cupcakes can get texture in better ways than having sprinkles. What is the? What is your ultimate cupcake? Uh, it would be some kind of a mixture between a snickerdoodle flavoring, a creme brulee flavor, and maple. So sugar and sugar yeah. and <laughs> well, I mean, maple sugar. flavored sugar. My favorite amusement park thing is cotton candy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Kaylin Matt says, is that going to main Piranha Plant? Yeah, Ooh, actually, I would main Piranha Plant. That's yeah. a I'll secondary Piranha Plant. <clears throat> so it's your pocket. You pocket. They said you pocket. Okay. It's your pocket character. All right. Uh, Someone else picks Pikachu, then I'll do Piranha Then you do Piranha Plant. Stephanie, they would have true on this. You think that a daily diet would be better, would be better off if you added six ounces of cheese over a 12 ounce of soft drink. Is that true or false? True. That is the, you look at me like I'm the idiot. You're yeah, like, I mean, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, See, here's idiot. the thing is when I read that question, I immediately was like, this is a stupid question. <laughs> it was a stupid question. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Steve's crying in the back. I can hear him sobbing. I was up all night. <laughs> No, see, here's the thing, is I actually have a good reason for this. <laughs> I heard a lot of mumbling there. Um, uh, he, said, he said, coming today, pre premiering today on Squad says, Judge Sabotage. 
That's fair. Um, no, my my husband has had a kidney stone before, and it was because he drank a lot of yeah. soda. Did he name it? No. Oh, I should have named it. But and so he texting. stopped. He stopped drinking as much soda because it's bad for you. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah no, absolutely. And the other option is cheese, right? Yeah. yeah. Cheese, is amazing. cheese. 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 Yeah. Cheese is delicious. I would eat cheese all. Every second of all of my life. Fill up those arteries. All right, so we've got <laughs> Green Squad voted true on this one. Kells has used more than four modes of transportation in the last week. So bus, car. No, I've only walking. Been car. Oh. And walking, car and walking. Running. She still said no. No. Legs. No. <laughs> no. Said no. I went, I, no running. Purple okay. Squad. You guys are on a roll this time. Jesus, we're not on a roll. I said purple, I said purple <laughs> squad is though. This is a very uh, this is this is a very timely and appropriate uh, question, Steve. Congrats on this one here. Kels thinks that Fortnite should have to pay licensing fees for the dance moves that are copied from rappers. Yes, I do. Whoa, that is true. Ooh, they Sir, Tony, a hot that. take cupcakes aren't good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez, holy that, Sir Tony. All right, so we, got, we got the point for that for sure. So yeah, you think they should have to pay? I do. They, and or like in the least, they should be absolutely credited. And if credited, they should, like, maybe not a huge exorbitant fee. That is a, that is a huge, you know, about the, the lawsuit that's happening right yeah. now. There's somebody suing Fortnite. Is it for, Donald Faison? It is not Donald Faison. He should be suing them. Millie B. I mean, there's the a Millie whole, B. like, socioeconomic, like, thing to go into in this. Yes. But, like, using, using rappers' things in something that's not in rap culture is right. appropriating that culture and then not paying them for it. And that's... Well, that's the thing is like the default dance is the poison dance from Scrubs. It's yeah. it's, it's Donald Faison yeah. in an iconic scene yep. in one of the best shows on TV. There is uh, Miss Clicks about to ban Serotonia for the hot cake. That's the hot cake. Oh, <laughs> and uh, the price. And Sarah says that's the price of truth, though. <laughs> that's the price Jesus. She's w they're willing to die on that hill. That That is an interesting differentiation, though, is should it also be for for pop culture things like in TV shows because that's different because they're they're getting money through syndication oh, and man. and they get the answer is yes but they should be so there's a whole thing I'm clearly, clearly that there. Kels oh, has a lot the of, rest lot of, of the show all right let's let's go on you got Green you got on this here voted true <clears throat> Stephanie Stephanie knows the difference between a red a green and a blue shell in Mario Kart Ooh. that's a gimme right I, of course you do yeah. yes what's a green shell it's a green shell that goes straight and, and bounces off of whatever it bounces off of. Red shell? Red shell will uh, seek out somebody. And the blue shell? Blue shell goes to the person who's in first. There you go. All right. That was an easy that question. Easy of course one. she got that. Here's another Heck easy yeah. one. They voted true on this, Stephanie. You own more than 10 pairs of footwear. Is that true or false? False. That is false. How many pairs of footwear are you on? Uh, I actively use five pairs. And then I have like a couple, like maybe two fancy shoes that I wear never. <laughs> <laughs> what about, except for fancy nights. Well, yeah. Fancy but. days. You're wearing fancy shoes right now. People can't see them. They're, cool. they're amazing. They are, and they match your hair. Because <laughs> they're, they're glittery, they're sparkly, and they're magical. They're shiny, black, and they've got lots of colors on them. Yeah, there you go. How many uh, pairs of Vans do you have? Mike? I have one pair of Vans. How many pair of pairs of chucker, or checkered shoes do you have? One. I have one pair of checkered shoes. Everybody Converse. has, everybody has it. Converse? They. Uh, Converse, I have seven. Yeah, all different there colors. it is. That's how they get you. Uh, I yeah. would that's how they get you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an MMO that you forget to unsubscribe from. Yeah. <laughs> so our squad here has voted <clears throat> true on this one. If Kells could only eat two types of fondue forever, she'd pick oil and cheese. Yeah. All right, <laughs> heck yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. That's a great kind of, what other fondue do you there, eat? I guess there's cho chocolate. Chocolate? Uh, yeah. Broth based. Yeah. yeah, but cheese. But my yeah. problem with chocolate is it's like, it's always, it's not, it's too, it's not too much and it hasn't, what's it called? What's it called? The thing where like it hasn't set and then the chocolate gets like a different texture and it tastes better. Get the skin on top. That's the, that's the best part. Skin on it. top. The skin. <clears throat> wait, wait. It should have a shine uh, on top. Tempering. Maggie, yes. Maggie K. Punk says, is hot pot fondue? Uh, I, I say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd yeah. say that. Ooh, we've got oh, Chef Aaron Chef disagreeing, saying says, hot pot nope. is not fan hot fondue. Is we'll, we'll talk to him. Uh, we have uh, right production Sarah also disagreeing <laughs> behind you there, Mike. She, she's hot saying pot no, is hot not is fondue. Not, wow, look at that. All right, well. It's cooking an item inside of a, a liquidous form of an item. That, that's what fondue is like, like a, based around. The problem might be that it's not a melted version of something, but it could but be. But oil is If isn't. it was, if it was like duck fat that you're 
cooking it in? You have a last question. We do. There. Yeah, I know. I was letting them. I was letting our, our guests finish. All right, this is the last question. Uh, we win this round no matter what. So it means we're going to get to go first and serve. And uh, <laughs> my chef, <laughs> Chef Fox, is going to start out with the mini maker, which is red. Mini maker. It's red. Oh, uh, terrible. They, they voted true on this. Kels, you know how to reboot Linux from the command line. Is that true or false? That's a difficult one because I went to college for that and learned how to do that while learning Linux. To say that I remember how to do that, I could probably figure it out if I had to. So, so is that false so or true? true? So I, I could do it. She's saying, so we're going to say true just so we can get that extra point. All right. Because why, yeah, yeah. why not? We're going to say true. She just said gonna she can do shit it. shit on us for I, the time before we head out there. That's what I, I only Good went to God. college for a year, and that was the main thing I learned. So yes. I hope I remember how to do All that. All right. Well, there you go. Well, thank you guys very much. We're going to say goodbye to our judges right now. We'll, keep, we'll catch up with you guys again during Squad Says Served. Go ahead and take back to your station there. And let's call our chefs over. Chef Fox and Chef A.A. Ron. <laughs> Come on in, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Make sure I we throw away the right questions. We can't take another another loss today. <clears throat> I'm not, I can't, I can't have a talk, third loss in a row. I'm distraught I don't have a mini maker. Are you talking about No, you're not. I'm okay with I'm sorry, you're talking about these two <laughs> wins that I have over here in my station? Part, I'm just throwing something away over here. Oh my god, I have two wins. Look at this. Look get at out of here. You don't get it. You're not getting another one out of here today. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's, Don't he's worry, confident. he says. Chef Aaron is confident today. So. See, here's the thing. Pride go with before the fall. My chef here is cool, calm, and relaxed, collected. Well, have you heard the saying, pride winneth the cooking competition? Yeah. Yeah, they say that on Petro <laughs> Kitchen all the time. Don't sue us. Uh, <laughs> chefs, pleased to be introducing yourself. One thing we want to know is this time when you guys are voting, you are only voting for your squad's questions. You're going to be voting uh, for your chef. So, Purple Squad, we will be only voting on questions and answering questions for Chef Fox. And green, green Squad, you will only be voting on questions that you will be uh, answering for Aaron here. For a Aaron, as Mike keeps calling him. Aaron. Up. Hey, man. That's one of my favorite sketches. All right. His name's uh, Aaron. Chef Fox. I'm going to call you that because it's easier and quicker to say. So, we don't got a lot of time. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself uh, to the folks at home. Let Hi. them know what you do, who Hello. you are, and where they can find you on the internet. Um, my name is Michelle. You're welcome to call me Fox or no Fox. Uh, in terms of this, feel free to call me Fox. I stream a lot of League, a lot of variety content. Um, I consider myself a Linux gamer and a vegan broadcaster. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Um, my social is Don't Give No Fox. Don't Give No Fox. It's me. Hi, I'm Aaron Andrews. Uh, I am an experienced chef, Chef Alligator on Instagram. Alligator versus Fox. I don't know what to say about that <laughs> yet. But I know something. And I feel like I missed out on all the questions for the judges because then we could have gotten into my Zangief cosplay. Oh, what? And oh my like God. The, my fondue restaurant, Fonduzi. Fonduzi? <laughs> Wait, idea. is this your hypothetical? Hypothetical. Okay, yeah. so you want to have a fondue restaurant called, called Fonduzi. Yeah. Also, next time you're on the show, you have to come at dressed as Zangief. I just have to take off my shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crush men's skulls between your thighs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, squads, right now you're seeing the voting. The voting should be going there, so you're voting true or false on whatever question you see there. Uh, Fox, yeah. now this is the first time we've met here. Yeah. Did you think it would be so adversarial? You've hosted me so much on Twitch, and now we're competitors. No. <laughs> no. No. I think you stole my friend. I, I think. think. Yeah, you're, you're my, my friend. friend. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not on this show. There's no friends is, on this show. There's no friends here in this, Only. this kitchen. Green Squad has voted true on this one, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Aaron would rather run five miles each day than sleep only five hours each day. Is that true or false? That's true. That is true. That is a point it, for Green Squad. It doesn't really sound like a good option either way. No, but, not at all. <laughs> but uh, having, um, I have an eight-month-old son, and currently I am on about five hours of sleep. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's pretty terrible. So uh, <laughs> just wait until he hits those sleep regressions. He's. That's oh, why I. Yeah. That's why. Because I thought yeah. I was like in yeah. nope. sailing with like. I was like, oh, that's I got like eight you. hours of sleep last night. <laughs> no. That's how they trick you. They're like, hey, dad, check it out. I'm gonna sleep all night. You're like, great. And they're like, huh, just kidding. Now I'm gonna wake up every mm -hmm. two hours. Didn't yeah. you say your son also eats the sprinkles off of cupcakes? Uh, cookies. Oh, yeah, that's has, on cookies. He the eats the... cookies, yeah. Jesus. The cupcakes we had, they didn't have sprinkles on them, but he, they have this, the strawberry center. He'd eat around the strawberry center and then eat the strawberry center last. You're raising a monster. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm aware. Oh, I'm aware. You should uh, give him an allowance for that. I should. Uh, Chef Michelle, yes. the squad's voted true on this. You feel more comfortable at the command line 
than in a GUI, than in a GUI. Than a GUI, as it's in called. Um, I'd prefer to be more comfortable in the command line, but since a lot of gamers on Twitch and just viewers on any platform aren't familiar with programming or Linux in general, I like to first show them the GUI. I use Pop OS, and that's just beautiful. If you don't know, it's by <laughs> System76. Get educated, please. And <laughs> <laughs> that's why I prefer GUI first. All right, yeah. so we got that one incorrect. Uh, what's well, all right? That's okay. I don't know what she I said either. She no, said. that's yeah, fine. It's I, fine. I, I don't that's that's any of that. that. Uh, what's up for grabs this round? Oh yeah, that's right. I should say that we get to choose knives. If right. uh, once Green Squad wins, we get to choose knives uh, from two. That's weird. And other team gets the other knife. Oh, so. Oh yeah. So you pick two knives. Yeah, pick two you knives. Get, you, you guys get, get the other knife, and we get our trivia choice. <clears throat> and the trivia choices today are going to be between sports. Yep. And geography. Yeah. Uh, I was actually uh, my school's geography champion. As a Were you child. really? Yeah. Are you going to take geography over sports when we get this? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well. But maybe. <laughs> so let's see here. The Green Squad's voted true on this one. So Aaron would rather eat gluten-free than vegan. Is that true or false? That's true. You would rather eat gluten-free. What can you eat that doesn't have gluten besides beans? I mean, beans? I just... <laughs> wow. I could eat cheese. <laughs> oh, OK. You yeah. Know, like the, I don't think I could give up cheese. I think that's a big thing. Who could give up cheese? It's hard. It's hard it's, to give up cheese. It is hard. Um, another thing that um, I don't think I would be able to give up that's gluten-free uh, or that's not a uh, vegan would be, I think, I really like eggs. Ooh, are those not gluten-free? No, they are gluten-free. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. Vegan. No, eggs so are really yeah, 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 yeah. So, so All right. Uh, I'm in agreement. Yeah, it's, 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 it's hard. Uh, Pimo in the chat says, he is also a father. I feel him. Yeah, and yeah, we both are, actually. It's yeah. dead. Yeah, daddy. Dad, uh, daddy. Stop it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Serotonius says, another hot take. Frosted cookies also aren't good. Man, serotonin has got some, got some. Oh, I want to know. Got some opinions. Why Serotonia doesn't like frosting. That's, that could be the reason. We'll see. Uh, Michelle, yes. the squads were true on this. Your favorite Tetris piece is the straight line. Yes. That's true. We got that one right. Uh, it has a name. I can't remember the name. They, uh, they all have names. Favorite what? Tetris piece. Oh, Tetris There's piece. There's many names, but I think the first and foremost name is the eye block. The eye block. Why is that one your favorite piece? Uh, I, I like to build diagonally and then I finish and I end up with the eye block going and I usually try to do back-to-back -back Tetris. So if oh, I'm, yeah, if yeah, I'm yeah, going yeah. against someone, I'm like surprised with yeah, the father. That's, yeah. that's, oh, that's, that's how I build. I, wow. I build all on one Boom. side and just leave a row. Just, I just <laughs> leave one side. And that's just how I, I think that's go. pretty standard like uh, Tetris play in there. <clears> that's, yeah. that's very common with professional players too. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen like the professional players? Have you watched like the championships of Tetris? It's oh, yes. wild. They're so it fast. It's insane. I can't believe how quick they are. Uh, Green Squad has voted true again. We're the true squad today. Mm -hmm. uh, if Aaron could only wear a single color of clothing for the rest of his life, he'd pick black. That's true. Another I've, three in a row, like, baby. It's, what what it's gave it away? Slimming. What gave it away? <laughs> it's slimming. It's slimming. Is that why you wear black? <laughs> Uh, well, as like a chef coat, I wear black because it doesn't show stains. Okay. As much. So as I can get fat and I can eat like a slob. <laughs> That's why Ricky Gervais says that he wears all black clothes is because it's slimming. It's like, oh. eh, well, maybe not, Ricky. You know, oh. is black slimming? <laughs> Dang. He is. Yeah. It sounds I, personal. I know, uh, right? Fuck Ricky Gervais. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I still think that the Ricky Gervais show is one of the funniest things that's ever been on TV. That's a good the animated. Yeah. You know? Oh, the animated stuff. It's, the animated it is stuff actually is really, really good. All right. Uh, the squads were true on this. Uh, Chef Michelle, they think that you think Rift Herald is underrated. Is that true or false? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's definitely, Chef. Yeah. So that's a point for that. Uh, educate the uneducated. What is Rift Herald? Oh, uh, so uh, there used to just be Baron, but they added Rift Herald, essentially a um, sage monster. So if you decide to like go to top lane, mid, or bot with that said monster, it'll do a lot of damage to the tower. It's up to the other team to stop the opposing team. In regards to that, I would also say that it depends on your rank and what your team comp is. And if there's communication in general, because there's a lot of games where you can win if you don't even prioritize that at all, or if you just make the other team, um, like, stop them from getting that in Man, general. you are hardcore. You yeah, I don't, know, this I don't awesome. know any of this. Just talking about League of Legends. Oh, no, I'm a part of the Smite Master Race. Oh, okay. I played a lot of Smite there. 
Wow, look at, look, no, look at that. Look at that. She was trying to keep, she was okay. trying to keep, like, the, she was like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a good game. Like, trying to keep all no, of that behind. I've, I've was, never played fine. it. It's fine. I've it's never fine. played it, so it's I have no fine. preference. No, absolutely. Yeah, it's no a bias. third person, you know, it's enjoyable. Um, <laughs> I, back in the day, bought the Founders Pack, getting, so I got getting, all the... It's getting warm in here? <laughs> this is a, yet another question. I I was like, I understand monsters and towers. <laughs> there you go. Uh, they voted true on this for you, Aaron. Uh, what, are they, what are they voting true on here? <laughs> Aaron likes Macklemore. Yeah. That's true. All right, That's, there we go. That was, that was the a question. question. Yeah, I no, was Aaron like, likes Macklemore. It, it, was like, it was like, yes, next question. I mean... <laughs> So Aaron uh, has a beard. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. <laughs> what? Um, so <laughs> actually, when the heist came out, I was uh, really, really sick in Central America. I was on a bus in Belize, like dying from uh, things that doctors didn't know what it was. It turned out to be a parasite. But I listened to the heist, and I was on a old school bus, and it was like 95 degrees and a million percent humidity. And I listened to the heist, and I was like. This is an amazing album, and it would be so much better if that thrift shop song was not on the album. <laughs> oh, wow. And so I was like, if you took that song off, it's perfect. And then that song was the song that No, oh, of course. Blew that's, that's, that's the pop song. That's the hit. That's it. It's relatable. Uh, <laughs> it's relatable. Yeah, relatable. That's why people like For, it. For uh, jackets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have owned so many. Mm -hmm. uh, Chef Michelle, yes. the squad has voted false on this. You know which team, the North American LCS team, Zven plays for. Is that true or false? Oh gosh. Um, I do I do watch esports competitions. I do watch a lot of LCS, but, but with know? names I'm horrible at. So that's uh, let's let's say Zven. Uh, true or false? Do, do you oh. know or not? Oh no. No, no, no. Right, so false. I just wanna make sure. <laughs> no. I just wanna make sure I don't want you to be like, oh yeah, no, it's this, and then and then have that be wrong. But it's that's false, okay. so we'll make sure we I wanna make sure that's we get right. that point. Ooh, you did get I'm the saying. point for that one. We did get the point. I'll for probably that one. say that I don't know. Great. Yeah. That is fine. That's what we wanna hear. <laughs> okay. So uh, Green Spot <clears throat> voted false on this one. Uh, Aaron's gas warning light usually turns on before he fills up with more gas. Is that true or false? I said that was true, actually. Ooh. I have a car that says, you should fill up soon. It gives you the little warning, so why not listen to the warning? <laughs> no, 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 that makes sense. Uh, my dad was the opposite way. I think all dads were like this yeah. back in like the 80s and 90s where they're like yelling at your mom, like, why aren't you yeah. filling up the car before it goes down to this? Where, and she's like, I'm sorry, I just, I, I didn't think, I think we'd make it. It's like, no. no. <laughs> my dad my dad was the opposite, but that was like, I got how much, I got, I'm on fumes. I can make it down the hill to the gas really? station. Really? Oh my! Oh, yeah. So that was my mom. Yeah. My dad was completely the opposite. I had a well, I still have a 1966 Dodge Dart. Wow! And uh, it was like the car I that drove from I was 16, cousin. and uh, not so bad actually. No. And uh, but the miles fuel, uh, 18 <laughs> or 19, uh, and so yeah. But anyways, the fuel gauge broke, and so <laughs> when I had when I drove that all the time, I was hyper vigilant about yeah. being like, well, it's been like four hours, I better go get more gas. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, Chef Michelle, the squad's voted true on this. You would rather cook all of your meals in a crock pot over a microwave. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, she definitely, she says. Yeah. Oh, great, that's a point. You were catching up. That was squad. not even like a, that was one of hey, the Aaron hey, Beer questions. Hey, where's Black? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's, we needed that one, all right? <laughs> it's like a lot of it's tied up. They're saying, okay, so they're saying that uh, the crock pot takes a ton of more planning than it, microwave. I mean, what's what are your thoughts on the two? Uh, you don't know it, but, and they don't share it a lot unless you go down the deep, dark rabbit hole, but radiation, even if you're standing in front of a microwave, just like right now, if that were to go, like if we were cooking popcorn, we'd still be affected by it. Hmm. People don't know, if you were, I would say, if you were in that room, then you'd be okay. You'd be okay, well there you go. Yeah. All right, all right, so <laughs> we'll uh, do this question here uh, before I grow another head here from the radiation, because I use the microwave all the time. Aaron has cooked lentils in the past 60 days. True or false, Aaron? It's true. There's another true for the true squad here. Yeah. Standards, semi-standard rotation. We eat a lot of legumes. Makes in my sense. Nice. I still feel like. Have you done them here? I was like, I think you've done it on the show. Have you not? Mm, I can't say for sure. I don't you've think been here so. so much. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of all Everything blurred in the yeah. you know? <laughs> Lentils um, happened yesterday. Lentils did happen yesterday. Uh, wow. No, I mean I had a um, like I'll make uh, the lentil. One of my favorite things with lentils are is the um, Indian lentil and red bean curry. 
Ooh, Ooh that sounds yeah. really, good it's really, right really, now. really good right now. Can yeah. confirm, it's mm -hmm. nice. It's really, really good. Yes. Are you gonna make that today? If I get lentils, red beans, and some curry, and we can make it. We can, we can <laughs> make, make it happen. Make it happen. <clears throat> All right, uh, the squad's voted false on this. Uh, Michelle, Chef Michelle, you can beat Super Mario Brothers in under an hour. Is that true or false? Uh, it's false. I've never That's played true. it. You never played it. Well, oh. now that I am, we get a point. Shocked by. Oh, I, I grew up playing a lot of our uh, JRPGs, um, mm. so the whole world. I know. Really? Yeah. What was, do you have memories of like, what's your first JRPG that you played? Oh, dang. <laughs> Let me think about <laughs> what this. Uh, I know. Oh, she's rebooting. Yeah, she's no, rebooting. No, no. Uh, Chrono Cross was a favorite. Nice, Legend of yeah. Mana. Um, Both amazing man, games. I don't know. It was like all the Nintendo 64 and then it was just that time period where we were like poverty, so we didn't have any games. So, but so now Super Mario Brothers is super easily gettable. Hey, you still haven't touched it? You're just like, no, I've gone this far. No, uh, <laughs> my my viewers, I have mods who share their <clears throat> Steam libraries with me, and they have like 500 plus. I'm like, buy another game or play their 500 plus games. There you go. That makes sense. Yeah, All I right. play what people want to see. That's true. Well, there you go. <laughs> Uh, so Green Squad voted true on this one, Aaron. Immediately after the show, Aaron would rather drive to Miami than walk to the Tacoma Dome. So uh, what did the people say? Uh, they voted true on this. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Oh, look at that. We a, also apparently had 18 points there on the scoreboard watching nice. that one go up. Nice Heck job. yeah. Because A, I like road trips, and B, Tacoma kind of stinks. Tacoma does. It, it actually Tacoma does stink, stink, but... Uh, also, just walking anywhere for that long, I'm like, yeah, I'll sit in a car for eight hours over a walking... It's like the 20 five, degrees six outside. Hours. It's, it's also very, very cold. Tundra we could go right to Miami, now. we could be on the beach, yeah. and sip some cocktails. You'd rather sit in the car and listen go. to good music or walk in the cold-ass weather. Gee, which one <laughs> do you think is going to pick? Like, Come on. We'd we'll be there in like on. six days. Aaron recently thing, shaved his head. Ooh. Well, the thing with the, the heated seats, though, is like it always feels like I've just peed my pants. Like if I'm sitting on there with those butt warmers. Well, what? it relaxes you enough yeah, that you pee your pants? That might be happening. <laughs> Maybe that's what's going on. All right. You were never going to ride in my car. Because uh, I got, you know, pee, pee my seats. They will be true on this, Michelle. Okay. You like Tom Petty more than Bob Dylan. Is that true or false? Um, I like Bob Dylan more. Oh, and it just is. comes down to uh, I've always found his voice, the way he sings, and yeah. his songs more endearing sounding. Not saying that Tom Petty isn't, but right. I I just find his voice more. Uh, that's un that's understandable. <laughs> All right, so we got that one wrong, which means we're now down one, which means you guys have to, the green one has to get the next one wrong, and we have to get the next one right in order to tie. Can you do an impression of Bob Dylan singing? I, can, I cannot. I my impression of Bob Dylan sounds like somebody doing a bad impression of Bob Dylan singing. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's the thing. You know who does a great Bob Dylan impression is the uh, Have you heard of the artist the Tallest Man on Earth? I've not. Yes. He's very good. He sounds very similar to Bob Dylan. Yeah. It's very good music. I, I just wanted to put that one out there. I really like Do that it. artist. It's good connection. My, uh, my uh, what's his, uh, Neil mm. Diamond impression is really good. You want to hear it? Yeah. No. Sweet. Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. ba, ba. ba. Good times <laughs> never seem so good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Impressions Thank you. never seem so good. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> We got Tacoma in the house. Next week is just Tacoma in the house. Jimmy crack corn and All I right. don't answer care. your question. <laughs> <laughs> the judges are begging you to Sorry. stop. Aaron <laughs> likes Coolio more than Alanis Morris said. They're still laughing. See him funny. Yeah. Sure yeah okay, there been, we go. We've been living most of our lives in the gangster paradise. I, I don't. I mean, like really, like that's. <laughs> He has a better Weird Al parody song <laughs> than Alanis Morissette does. Is that how you decide? Yeah, it's a great karaoke song. It's All true. Right. Yeah, it's true. Amish Paradise is a, it's great. Uh, is a club banger. <laughs> even with uh, the, uh, 10 out of 10 stars. Even with the manufactured uh, beef between Weird Al and Coolio. Is there a, is there a beef? It, we'll talk about it later. It's completely okay. manufactured. Yeah. Okay. It's amazing that he did it for sales. Uh, they would have false on this. <laughs> that Michelle, you like ABBA more than Queen. I, I like Queen more. That's great. No, that's yeah. good. That means we got yeah. that one right, but yeah. we still lost that round. But Suck that's it, right. Purple Squad. <laughs> that's right. We only lost by one. Oh, no, compared to, like, the 45 points we won by in round one. All right. So that means 
You guys get your choice of knives. Mm -hmm. We'll choose that in between uh, when we're getting ready. We'll announce that during served. Sounds great. But that also means we get to choose between sports and geography. I don't know. Um, you are a sports guy. I'm a sports guy, but like I said, I'm also the geography bee. Champion of my elementary school. That's right, and you okay. were, and you just graduated on the elementary school. Do you think you're school, and, I so. and I was third in my middle school. So oh, there you go, and that was like last year. That so was I like think, last year. I um, I kind of want to give it a go. Geography? Yeah, I'm gonna challenge myself. Yeah, today. all right. Let's go okay. So I mean, I'll take the sports questions. Oh, you will take the sports questions. Oh, all that's right. the <laughs> that's the thing. All right. So Chef Michelle, go ahead and drag your chair and put it right behind your station, right over here. Just want to have you bring, come over okay. to the purple squad so, side here. While she is doing that, let's explain how the speed round works. Uh, green squad and purple squad. You're gonna see numbers one through six at the bottom of your screen. That's gonna correspond to how many questions you think that your chef can get correct in that category. Now the catch of that is, if you guess five and the chef only gets three right, they get none of the rewards that would have come with getting four questions right. So let's see here. So the questions, if they get one question right, it's a spatula. Two questions right, they get a medium pan and a spatula. Three questions right, rear burner, everything before. Four questions, any spice and everything before. Five questions right, medium bowl, everything before. And six questions right, they get to ignore a sabotage as well as get uh, everything before that as well. So let's turn to Chef Aaron here. Aaron, so you've got geography. Now, elementary school, have you, okay, first of all, have you even kept up with any geography since elementary school and middle school? Why are you nodding like this? This makes me think that you haven't and that you just decided. I, you know what? I kind of wanted to challenge myself. Great, because that is one hell of a challenge. You gotta get four right. They gotta yeah, get I was gonna four say, right. I was gonna say <clears throat> that, you know what? I, my wife, is tired of hearing this story, okay. but in Are you gonna prove to her? In, uh, if she's watching, hey baby. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, I never call her baby, that's what the funny Perfect. Thing. Uh, <laughs> that I still protest that loss because I remember the question and I don't believe that they were right. All right, well let's see if we can get your knowledge uh, proven here. Are yeah. you ready? Yeah, absolutely. What's the question? Here we go. Ireland, and New Zealand are the only countries that lack what? A geography question. And I've lived in New Zealand. Do you not know? No, no I no, I keep going. It, the, the oh, that's it was a lack blank. They lack what? What and what? What do they lack? Oh well, there's a lot of things that they lack. Pick one. Pick one. Uh, Speed round. That both Ireland and New Zealand. <clears throat> oh, um, we will say a. Something obvious? I don't know. They, like they this is a around. really weird question. Well, they, bo around. they both lack mountains over 15,000 feet. <laughs> I'm gonna give that to them as a point for, that is great. Uh, what, that city is the, uh, what the fuck is this question? <laughs> the city is the southernmost state capital in the United States. Uh, Honolulu. It is, no, Austin. Uh, what inland sea between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan is fast disappearing because the rivers that feed it have been diverted and dammed? The Black Sea. No, what is, which American city is the fire station of Ladder 49? S sorry, say that again? <laughs> In which American city is the fire station of Ladder 49? Uh, New York City. Uh, Vienna is the capital of which country? Austria. Mahorica. Majorica? Majorca. Majorca. Majorca is part of which group of islands? The Balearic. That is correct. So that we got one, yeah, three. two, I three. Would, three. We're gonna I would say that one. I would like a little bit of a uh, dig there. on the southernmost uh, <clears throat> capital. So they actually gave that one to you. Yeah. So they're going to give you the uh, mainland one. Uh, I heard from production there mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah, they didn't say it was mainland or okay. continental. Also, I also believe we should also be getting the mountain one because that's also correct. What was, the, what was the answer they were looking for? Native snakes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So judges are laughing over there going, what the fuck? Yeah, New Zealand doesn't have a lot of native yeah. animals. The, or not, not a lot of native, um, native animal diversity. So on technicalities, are we gonna get that one uh, production no, it said it said only those two countries lack it. Oh, only those two countries that lack it is what it was saying. So oh, unfortunately well, we the, got the, three the out of The question four. wasn't phrased correctly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so unfortunately we don't get anything except the knife that we're starting out with there. Yeah, you look at that oh, if you, you want to. Oh, you got four points, right? Oh, we what? did get four points what? apparently. Didn't need the mouse ones you one, get? One, two. The 
This is an upset. I mean, <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, so we'll find out in the break if we got that or not. Because that was ridiculous. That entire thing was ridiculous and hilarious. Mike is looking at this, scouring it to see that. All right, yeah, go ahead right, and go, yeah, go with the right, request. Come, come over here to Chef Michelle. Chef Michelle, after that clearly, clearly just rigged in the green squad's favor there for those points, how do you feel about sports? Do you catch up on sports? No. Great. <laughs> that is wonderful. They're going to vote on how many sports questions you think. Fantastic. Maybe, maybe one. She's telling them one, like low ball right there. The squads usually tend to pick three. And these questions are, are weird, so that's okay. fun. Um, Tell me your your sports experience. Uh, I was in I was a basketball player. I was in track when I was younger. I was in soccer. So was you are, you know of sports. I know of sports, <laughs> but teams and anything happening around it, no. Well, clearly, as you heard, there's I mean, when we say you know geography, clearly we know geographical questions like native snakes are not <laughs> are not native to to Ireland, to New Zealand, whatever the hell else <laughs> we got going on there. So, all right, so what do you, do you, th what do you think? Should, should they vote low? Should they vote in the middle? It's, it's however many questions you get right is all the stuff that we're gonna get. Uh, um, probably vote low. Probably vote low. Vote low. Vote low. <laughs> they voted two, which would two. get you a spatula. Okay, you can do two. Yeah, you can do two. No, don't get it under hand. <laughs> the spatula in a medium pan. All right, <clears throat> Chef Michelle, and also we're gonna make sure that we speed around this Unlike Chef Aaron there, who's taking his sweet ass time answering okay. these questions. All right, Michelle, yes. are you ready? Sure. All right, where is the National Tennis Center? I don't know. But great. What is the first country to win Soccer's World Cup on foreign soil? Italy? Italy? That is correct. What golfer ended a nine years of final round frustration by winning the 1996 Memorial Tournament? I don't know. Wonderful. In polo, what is used to hit a ball? Hands. Uh, no. <laughs> Who did Cassius Clay beat to win his first world heavyweight boxing title? Don't know. Great. What baseball player said, some people give their bodies to science, I gave mine to baseball? <laughs> A Bieber, I don't know. That's incorrect. All right, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we got one. <laughs> Which, what a speed round! <laughs> what a speed round! All right, uh, Flushing Meadows, New York, is where the National Tennis uh, National Tennis Center located. Italy was the first country to win Soccer's World Cup on foreign soil, so congrats on that one. Uh, Tom Watson was the yeah. first person to win uh, the nine after nine years of losing. Uh, a mallet is used to hit the ball in polo. Cassius Clay beat Sonny Liston, uh, and uh, Ron Hunt. What the hell it is. Yeah, I know. All right, so you got one. That's all right though, because we're still going first and served. We still get the mini maker. Okay. Uh, so that's we're not starting you low ball. And Chef Aaron, he's a nice guy. Maybe he'll give you a good knife. We'll see what happens. All right. So, <laughs> wow, that was one heck of a speed round <laughs> sure where nobody was. gets anything. <laughs> that sure was. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> nice job, production. I am so I glad. No, no, what happened? What are you glad I, about? I'm here? glad I picked the geography. Those were hard sports questions. Sports they questions. were. Yeah. yeah. Those are some hard ones today. Don't go anywhere. If you haven't joined the squad, make sure you join the squad. Make sure you're following uh, that Twitch channel to know when we go live. We are going to get ready and set up for our cooking show, Squad Says Served, where these two chefs are going to have to compete, and you guys are going to get to control everything that's voted on. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.